Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood and I'm here to talk about PVC pipe and how it doesn't belong in yard drains. We have four of the high octane. It's got inlet, like monster inlets. And they're 360 degrees. They're all the way around the pipe. So then we have this, this piece of PVC Schedule 40. Now it's got two holes on the bottom. Now we got four pipes in here doing more, creating more void, moving more water than stone itself. This is why PVC sucks. Look at that thing. It's doing, it'll do you no good. Where's the inlets? On the bottom. So you have to put this at the bottom of the trench. Unlike the high octane where you can set it right on the fabric, this has to have three to four inches of stone under it, which means you got three to four inches of water left in your trench. That's no good. Why? Because trees can sniff that out. Trees can sniff that out and your yard drain is going to get compromised. It's going to work a little less each year until one day it doesn't work at all. And you're going to say, man, I worked my, I worked, I worked really hard putting my system in. Our subscribers are crazy intelligent I just love it you guys ask the best questions and they're legit so here's one that I get asked a lot so I'm gonna explain it people are always saying they're always saying how does the water move in the pipe when there's all these holes because the thought behind it is does the water just fall out as easy as it goes in so I get that that's legit guys trying to figure out how this pipe works don't don't screw yourself into the ground man um, it's this simple we wanted these big outlets for two reasons one the water goes right into this pipe and this pipe acts as a giant void just like we go up in size on aggregate the larger the aggregate the bigger the voids say you don't have big aggregate available to you say you get stuck using small stone well, then it's even more important that you put two pipes in because you create the voids. This is a giant void, two four-inch pipes. That is a monster void in your system. And I'm going to teach you some more stuff here in this video real quick because the guys want to start putting stone in. Now, over here, we're going to have a T. And the discharge is going to go to the storm drain. With these big inlets in the high octane, the water collected in this pipe just passes through into this pipe. Now we're gonna put a T here, but that's how we do it. People always say, hey, what's going on here? You're not connecting these two pipes. Well, I, it's a big void. It's like having monster aggregate. You'd have to have 12 inch or 18 inch, you know, brown rock to create the kind of voids we're creating. So that is what we do here. Now, see how big these voids are? Any dirt or contaminants will pass right through these voids. They'll pass right through these pipes. Can you believe that? It's awesome. The French drain, that's the perforated pipe with stone. A yard drain is a solid pipe with catch basins. When you try to combine the two and you use the same pipe, that's what we don't like. That's what we preach to not do. Now here in Michigan, our French drains are enough, but I have a lot of subscribers all over the United States as well as around the world, and they're telling me we once in a while get a tropical storm and we're measuring rain in feet. Well, in that case, I'd love to see you combine a French drain with a yard drain. So that's why we did this. We literally took this big job and bloomfield hills michigan to show you guys scott took an 18 inch single wall pipe and cut it in two because there was three big trees right there we're gonna make sure there's no water in this trench because those trees will sniff it out but some added insurance was that big single wall pipe that we had to wrap our french drain around so this is a solid yard drain pipe we have the high octane royal blue comes in solid 
or it comes in a French drain pipe, which is a very open inlet of eight slots per valley. And it takes in more water than any other pipe in the world. So we're using the solid on this job. This is a roof runoff. I always get people in the comment section saying, hey, where's the stone? Where's the drainage fabric? Hello, this is not a French drain, guys. This is a roof runoff system. All this pipe is solid. So that's what we're doing. We're teaching you how to do a complete roof runoff system. Homeowners, this is where you start. You might take care of your drainage problem right here. If you're just managing and directing your roof runoff off properly responsibly you might be shocked your side of your yard might not need a french drain